They never tell you in library school that teen librarians can be confused with kindergarten teachers. I am constantly cutting and pasting things out. Constantly. There wasn't a class on that that I remember. Hi, this is Emily from Q&A, The Librarian Way and The Gnoming Librarian. I'm here with our very first library short. Very excited to be here. We weren't quite sure what to call this segment. We knew we wanted it to be short films, and we knew that we wanted it to just be an opportunity for you to get to know us a little better and an opportunity for to us to share what we're passionate about. Um, so we went with shorts, and shorts, for some reason, kept reminding me of Salute Your Shorts, that awesome 90s television show from Nickelodeon and then I started thinking about all the awesome Nickelodeon shows I loved in the 90s like Pete and Pete and Cloris Explains It All and Hey Dude and oh um, The Secret World of Alex Mack. There were so many back there that I absolutely loved including Are You Afraid of the Dark which was probably my absolute favorite. I loved to be creeped out as a kid. I loved ghost stories and any kind of tale of the supernatural. Not these paranormal romances that we're getting now, but like truly creepy out kind of books, including Mr. R.L. Stein. Happy birthday, R.L. Stein. It just so happens it's his birthday today. Um, I've got First Date with me. We have a whole shelf of these still at our library that check out like crazy, which is awesome despite the 80s, 90s looking cover. This one is cracking me up the back. Dying for a date. Chelsea Richards is shy, lonely, and looking for love. She would give anything to finally go on a date. Soon there are two new boys in school, and both ask her out. Too bad one of them is a crazed killer. Poor Chelsea. Will her first date also be her last? It's like the saddest thing I've, <laughs> I've ever heard, um, but it's awesome too. And I just had forgotten how much I love them. That's when he always kills them. First date. And then I've got also final grade. Will Lily get an A in murder? That's just... And at last, the story could be told. The hidden evil. I've decided I think I want to be the person that puts the one-line blurbs on the cover of books because that'd be an, just a fun job to have. You could really get creative with that. Um, so happy birthday, R.L. Stein. Do you have a favorite 90s nostalgia? I'd love to hear about it. Make sure you comment down below. And we have our links to our blog and um, the YouTube channel just so you can subscribe. We'd love for you to subscribe. Don't forget to keep sending in your comments and questions and we will get to them as soon as we can. Thanks for joining me. Bye.